Hi everyone, I'm Marcy, and today I'm making a classic pot roast, and I'm making it in a crock pot. I love it because it's an all-in-one complete meal, and you don't have to worry about what sides you're going to make to go with it. And then anytime you slow cook something, it's always just moist and tender and delicious, and it's just a crowd pleaser every time. First, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to this channel, and let's get cooking. So I'm starting off with a three pound beef chuck and you want it to have lots of marbling because that extra fat is going to melt down and just ensure that your roast is tender and juicy. I've also got just your classic vegetables. I've got some red potatoes. I'll be using four to five carrots, a couple of celery stalks, one medium onion, and then for the spices, you can just use whatever spices you like, but it wouldn't be me if I didn't use New Mexico red chili powder and some cumin and uh, salt. I'm using some coarse kosher salt. I've also got a couple of sprigs of fresh rosemary that I just clipped out in my garden. Having a garden really has changed the way that I cook, and I'll have to show it to you. Maybe I'll show it to you a little later in this video. I've got uh, three garlic cloves, a couple of bay leaves, and then you'll also need two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons all-purpose flour, and a cup and a half of beef stock, or you can also use chicken stock. And I'll put all the ingredients and amounts in the description box below, but let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm going to do is rinse this meat clean and then dry it completely with paper towels. Then I season with plenty of salt, making sure it all gets covered. Then I do the same with the cumin and chili powder. I press and rub it into the meat, turn it around and season the other side. Then I let it sit and soak in all the seasonings while I prep the vegetables. I cut the potatoes into halves. I peel and chop the carrots into about three to four inch pieces. I chop the celery. Then I coarsely chop the onion. You want them in sort of larger pieces. Now I take all those veggies and put them in the bottom of my crock pot. Next, I'll heat up a skillet over medium-high heat on my stovetop. I'll drizzle enough olive oil to coat the bottom, and when it's hot, I'll drop in my chuck roast and let it sear on all sides. This extra step only takes a few minutes, but it's so worth it. That little brown crust is going to lock in the juices and enhance all the flavors in our roast. Hopefully I can get it to fit in here. With all sides seared, I'll carefully carry it over to the crock pot and place it on top of all those veggies. Perfect. Now I'll deglaze the skillet because we don't want any of the flavor on the bottom of the pan to go to waste. So this is where we're going to add in our butter. And as it's melting, I'll put in the garlic using my garlic press. Let that saute for just a bit. Then I add the flour and mix, scraping off all the tidbits that are stuck to the pan. Now you add in your liquid. I'm using beef broth. I stir continually, letting it come to a boil so it starts to thicken a little. So you can see it doesn't take much to form a little gravy. It's just been cooking about a minute or so. Then I'll pour this gravy over the roast. Make sure it gets all the way in the bottom as well. Gets in all those vegetables. Now the final touches. I'll just lay my rosemary sprigs on top, my bay leaves, I'll cover it, set it to low and let it cook for six to eight hours, which is perfect because I have a lot going on today. In fact, I have a hair appointment, so if I look a little different at the end of the video, you'll know why. 
It's been six hours since I put the pot roast in the crock pot and I told you I wanted to show you my little garden. So let's let's do that right now before we check on that roast. Um, it's just herbs that I have growing here. And like I said, it really has changed the way that I cook. Here's my fresh rosemary, basil. This one really is my favorite. I've got some oregano growing here and it grows like crazy. I've got some sage. This I love on my meatloaf. I've got some parsley, which we can use on everything. My mint is growing a little out of control at the moment. This year I planted spinach and arugula for the first time and I've got the beginnings of a little spinach sprout there and the arugula is doing absolutely nothing for me as as of yet, but uh, I'm still hopeful. Anyway, I'm gonna clip a little bit of this parsley because we can use it to garnish the pot roast. All right, let's go inside. So I checked it after six hours and it wasn't quite tender enough. So I went ahead and let it cook the full eight hours. And it's definitely done. It smells amazing. And I know that it is going to be fork tender now. So I'm gonna go ahead and just remove the uh, rosemary sprigs and the bay leaves, and then I'll just transfer it into my serving dish. Now the finishing touch, just a little of this fresh parsley. That looks so beautiful. And I'm gonna go ahead and give it a taste just from here. Pick a side where no one will see that I've already poked into it. Mm. And it's fork tender, it's already coming up. You don't even need a knife. Mm. Oh. This pot roast is absolutely delicious. It's juicy and tender. And I know the vegetables are cooked just right as well. You taste the rosemary and the garlic and all those wonderful spices. It really is just a perfect meal. I hope you try this. Thanks so much for checking out this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and click that notification bell so you know when my next video comes out. You can also follow me at Marcy Inspired on Instagram and Facebook. Until next time, blessings from my kitchen to yours. Mm -hmm.